Hey friends, Tux here. For this particular video, I have the EVGA RGB gaming keyboard. This is the Z12 keyboard. Now, I have to say, they Amazon shipped this, and they shipped it with a sticker on the box, which I really hate because I like nice boxes, you know? So I'm not gonna hold that against EVGA. That's more of an Amazon move. Um, but I do like the fact the box makes this look very giftable. And we're gonna talk all about this, and is EVGA ready to take the plunge into gaming hardware okay there will be a link for this keyboard in the description down below so you can click it to get it at the very best price and i have to say there's some really good prices on this keyboard right now now looking at the box again this is a very very nice product like evga is known for their customer service and before i go any further i really owe it to evga to say that compared to other companies i bought motherboards video cards from that kind of thing these guys really stand behind their product and i really appreciate that as a piece builder and PC gamer um, they've came through for me time and time again on video cards not just like new ones that are defective and they aren't but years later I'll have an EVGA card that goes glitchy or something and as long as you register it at least at the time when I was buying video cards um, <laughs> throughout the 2000s there's times they've actually sent me a brand new video card that was like upgraded an upgraded newer version of something which I previously bought like the next generation newer you know and so they, they're really good people so i have to say that i do appreciate them a lot okay with that being said the keyboard itself this is a new ground for them like i haven't really tried evga hardware before that isn't of the like internal computer variety you know so um it's interesting to see them do this now the package itself looks very beautiful nicely wrapped um again i'm not going to hold it against them the fact that it was shipped with a sticker on it on the back here just talk about some of the different features of this keyboard um, basically they say this is a three millimeter travel fast okay so it's a shorter distance so this is actually more of a it's not like a flat you know a slim keyboard like a laptop keyboard with the keys that are like you know chiclet style but it is a shorter throw which a lot of people who do competitive gaming will tell you that that does give you a slight edge by the fact that it's only three millimeters okay travel distance compared to some larger keys that need more of a travel distance you might say oh tux is that really a big of a deal yeah it kind of is because if you're hitting the keyboard here you know playing real fast WSAD and or whatever if your keys are like three you know millimeters tall and the component the opponent's keyboards are like five or more or whatever it can actually make your your clicking your you know clicks per second faster than your other opponents because your keys don't have to throw quite as far I hope that makes sense um, but it's definitely something to think about um, as far as the keyboard itself it is a cherry stem uh, compatible keycaps okay spill resistant 20 million keystrokes so you can hit these buttons 20 million times they'll keep working for you which is really good i do in fact appreciate this do have it being spill resistant because you know if you rage quit and you spill mountain dew on your keyboard i have had keyboards from i'll call it out logitech like hundred plus dollar keyboards from logitech self-destruct with a little bit of mountain dew poured on okay and i'm not talking like pouring it i just mean like accidentally tipping over a half empty can or a, like almost completely drank can and just a little bit of splash going on the keyboards and they all of a sudden it's just not working you know it's so i really appreciate the fact that some keyboards are water resistant does that mean you can play it in the hot tub no but does it mean that you can spill a little mountain dew on it when you rage quit yes and that to me is a big big plus okay um you can check out all their fine products at evga.com all right let's go ahead and open this up now um the keyboard itself again um this was actually delivered just like this outside and i have to say it almost looked like it maybe it took a little bit of water damage so hopefully the keyboard on the inside is okay this box you can see does feel a little bit soggy i so wish amazon would have done the right thing and actually pack this inside another box because plus when they leave this on your patio i don't want the neighbors to know i have a keyboard sitting on my patio because it makes it a little more appealing for someone to steal you know what i'm saying um now looking at this box again this is this is kind of like damp almost so i kind of worry that this got a little spray on it let me grab a scissors we're gonna open this up okay so we're gonna clip this here and check out the internal parts of this keyboard there we go i ripped into it and yeah you can see this is still wet this is like kind of not a good sign uh, you can see how damp that is um you know bad bad packing on Amazon's part, okay? Um, again, I'm not gonna hold that against EVGA. Um, let's go ahead and pull this out here. And this whole box does feel, it feels damp. It, it definitely feels damp. You can see it's just ripping right open. In fact, I'm just, I'm, I'm not even gonna try and save this. It's just, 
it's too damp. We'll go ahead and pull this out. Um, I will say the packaging looks pretty cool. I like I like the black packaging here. And so there's an inner box. It kind of reminds me of like Alienware, where the inside box is actually um, pretty cool on its own right. So now you can see how there's actually water got up to here and up to here. You can actually see the watermark actually on this. So um, that's a sign that, you know, yeah, Amazon part-time workers should not leave packages out during a tropical storm as Florida had last weekend, okay? Um, I did pull this in very quickly once it was received, but you know, they should, probably should put it in my patio or again, put it in another box. Now looking at this keyboard, this actually looks pretty beautiful. Look at that. This is a, sh a slick looking keyboard. I'm definitely digging that. We'll take a look at the user manual real quick. Again, Z12 quick guide, copyright information. Um, looks like it's pretty standard, couple languages here. Talks about different keystrokes, FCC compliance. Um, looks like we have the color combinations here. Uh, let's put this in front of the camera if you want to pause that. You certainly can here. Looks like the function up down does brightness, pretty standard function. And um, the left right does a switch lighting effect. Function and volume up and down, okay. Uh, function uh, one through nine switches profiles and the function key alerts all these other functions. So I guess that all makes sense. Um, and there's introductions. Again, where I can go through all these and there's the keyboard itself. And this is a full size keyboard, which is really great. There is something unique to this. This is that upper key here, this this uh, EVJ, they, they're calling it E mode, okay? Which is kind of like a uh, programmable uh, key that says programmable micro keys. I believe you can program five different sequences. Uh, more on that in a little bit though. And it uh, looks like there is a game indicator on F, which is right there, which is interesting. So we'll check that out too. So anyway, pretty standard full-size keyboard, cool manual. Now you probably know I was gonna mention this, but this does have a very nice braided cord. I do appreciate when companies have braided cords as a sign of quality. They don't have to do, they last longer, they look better. Very nice tight black braided cord. So good quality. And I like the fact there's actually some wire management here as I drop the keyboard. And it actually has the EVGA logo on it, which is interesting too. So good way to keep all your wires, a little Velcro action to keep everything tucked away and nice and tight. Okay, so like that. And again, this is one USB that plugs into your computer not multiple usb like some keyboards all right let's go ahead and pull this off here taking out the plastic and that feels first this has some good weight to it guys this is a very much a full-size keyboard and it really feels like a quality product um it is pretty heavy actually um the keys themselves do look full size although it's interesting actually it looks like unless unless it's an optical illusion i honestly feel like these lower keys are a shorter distance than these upper keys. I, I may have to look into this. Like, I don't know if the camera's catching this. Look at the height of that key versus the height of this key right here. Um, it definitely looks like they're two different heights, which is very unique. So it's a very slopey keyboard, um, which could be really good, actually. We have the E buttons over here, E1 through 5. And of course, there is, of course, the um, patented, trademarked EVGA E that looks kind of like a power button. So that's like their little symbol. Looks like we have a special protective cover here on the logo. So we'll peel that off. And that looks shiny and very nice, very glossy. Um, on the keyboard here, we do have the usual function keys. Looks like we have the PF1. And it goes all the way down there to 9, which is interesting. Um, we do have right here the RGB, left and right, um, up and down. Lots of very, you know, it's very interesting, the, the height of these keys. Like, look at these multimedia keys are very low profile. It's very interesting to see the height of this key here versus this key here. It's very interesting. I don't think there's many keyboards that have so many varying heights to the keyboard itself. And again, this does have a really good weight. The bottom has a really, really interesting feel. It, um, it feels very texturized. You can see very glossy. We got the EVGA logo there, very good. And very large. Check out the height on these like little, there's two different levels to this, to the little keyboard um, angler so you can actually change this to a little short or a little high um, feels very good quality very large nice rubbers here to keep it from sliding around your desk too much so we got those right there we got five of those total and uh, the bottom I'm, I'm impressed with this look of this this shiny EVG look to it but you know what's gonna impress us more we got to see this bad boy in the dark let me go ahead and plug it in and we'll be right back 
okay, I had a chance to play with this keyboard a little bit, tried a few different games on it, and I have to say it feels really good. It feels unique though in the fact that I did notice the fact these upper keys here felt a different height than these bottom keys. And it, it was a little offsetting in a way, but in a way kind of refreshing. Like it was definitely, it felt different than other keyboards, you know? So many keyboards feel very similar in layout. And this definitely felt a little bit unique. Um, the coloring looks very nice and vibrant, very cool colors, lots of different options. We're gonna show you more about that in a second. Um, the keyboard itself does feel very long. Again, this is a full size keyboard with a lot of keys in here. So definitely has everything you need for PC gaming and then some which is great. Um, the keyboard itself, as far as the clickiness of it, I know you guys like to hear the keys. Again, these are cherry keys. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna be quiet for a second and just let you hear the sound of these keys. Pretty quiet, it's interesting the space bar is a little louder than like the other keys. And like this key here is very short, the E key. WSAD. Yeah, so um, very interesting. Like, again, um, very unique layout. I would say one thing that I think is lacking is I, I really wish the EVGA word would light up. This is a very nice quality little EVGA uh, little logo up here. And um, the fact that it doesn't light it up makes it look kind of dark as you can see, like really the light show on these keys is really stealing the show. Now, as far as functions go for you, again, there are some things you can do here. Um, basically, you can use the function key, which is this key right here, and then hit left or right. You can see how that changes uh, the mode a little bit. This is kind of a, a very interesting kind of a blacked out with a little color scheme here, I guess, where you push lights up, which is cool. That's a little bit different, okay? And if we hit function again and hit over, we have all red, which I think a lot of people will like that. People ask about having it just be one solid color, and that actually is pretty stunning. That looks very, very vibrant and red, so I'm definitely digging the way that looks. Very, very cool. Then next up, um, it might be good for the new Diablo Immortal. Um, next up, we'll hit this, try it again, and then this is kind of a flashing, multicolor kind of look to it. Definitely going through kind of blurring in and out the different colors. And we'll hit this again. And then we have kind of more of a yellow one. This is more of a, looks like it's a quick change. Not so much of a fade, but very much of a quick snap between the different colors. I'm definitely digging the blue there. That looks very good. And we'll hit it again. And then we have the kind of the multicolor thing, which is kind of, uh, kind of rotating through the different color wheel colors. So very cool stuff. Now, of course, you can do function up or down to make the lighting go down if you want. Um, it feels like kind of a sudden down. Like, I don't know if there's, well, I guess there is different levels to it. The keys themselves, I wish were just a little bit brighter, maybe. It is very bright. Like, let me show you again. Like, you can really see the colors, but I do like my keyboards that light up a lot. And uh, the thing about black is black absorbs light, white reflects light. So when you have a white gaming keyboard, it does make the colors pop a little bit more. Uh, but you can definitely see the keys there. You can definitely see the letters are lighting up through the keys and all around the keys. So that is a pretty nice looking brightness to it. Um, although if it was white, it might pop just a little bit more. Just kind of a thought EVGA if you're watching this video. Um, all in all, very cool. I like the little cut. Buttons up here for multimedia, very small compared to the other keys, which again is very unique. And I'll play some games. I might do a follow-up video on this keyboard down the road, but just my initial thoughts on it is I like the fact that it's a little bit different. It's fun, it's refreshing to have a keyboard with a slightly different take on the height of keys and the fact that the lower keys are shorter, at least they sure look shorter to me than the upper keys here is interesting how it's slopey like that. And then the multimedia keys are way short. These are borderline chiclet keys, you know? So that could be very interesting in gaming to see how that might affect the gameplay. Um, I may go ahead and test this a little bit play some games in extent, you know, long raids, that kind of thing, and see how this holds up as far as comfort level goes. It feels very comfortable, and um, the noise level for the keyboard sounds sounds fine to me. I mean, I don't mind my keys having a little a little sound to them, a little tactile feedback, and I can definitely feel the springiness of these keys. I don't think that's gonna hurt my hand or feel weird in time, despite the fact of the keys being different heights. And I like the fact that it's spill resistant too. That is a nice touch. 
Okay, to recap, this is the EVGA Z12 Gaming Keyboard, and this is available at a really good price right now. I noticed this being discounted on Amazon, and I will have the very best price for you with the link right below. So click that link to get yours at the very best price, okay? But I'd say this is this looks and feels like a hundred plus dollar keyboard, but the price right now of discounted on Amazon is gonna be substantially less. Um, at the time of my buying this, I wanna say it was about 20 bucks and change. And and I think I've seen it frequently for around forty to fifty dollars is kind of like the average sell price. Um, but originally, this keyboard would be a lot more than that. So even at fifty dollars, I think this is a good quality keyboard at a very, very good price. The keys itself feel very nice and springy. It is water resistant, which is really good. This keyboard does a lot of programming of keys, which is a really nice touch with five programmable keys and five zones of LED. RGB lighting, which is really good too. So you can really enjoy that feel to the lighting, okay? And I, I like my lighting, so it's really nice to have some nice lighting. It really gets me in the mood for gaming, if you will, okay? It has a standard keyboard layout, which is a full set keyboard with all the keys, including um, ones for play, forward, rewind, pause, all your multimedia keys, volume up, down, mute, all that good stuff. And just a lot of options with programmability too, which is really nice. So the fact this Cherry keyboard is nice and full means you can actually program more keys and you can actually play to win, you know? They're like you're not having to like do weird combinations to get the basic like keys, like F commands, that kind of thing. So very, very cool. If you guys have any questions about this keyboard, please reach out to me, tuxtoys at gmail.com. But I think it looks great. It's a nice studying keyboard. It'll make a great gift for somebody to a gamer in your life. And if you have a keyboard that just crapped out on you because you know it went defective or something, EVG are known for their great customer service and their products lasting a really long time too. So I, I trust this is a good value, especially for the price. It is one heck of a deal. And just an overall, a beautiful keyboard. All right, all right guys, I wanna thank you for watching this video. Again, I may, I may make a follow-up video on this down the road after playing with this for a little while or add some additional comments down the road. But if you have any questions, reach out to me, tuxtoys at gmail.com. You know I'm here to help, okay? And again, click that link for the best price, all right? We'll talk to you soon, friends. Bye-bye. <laughs>